parts of Achabwanda in the Shamar district of the western region are likely to be hit by an acute by an outbreak rather of the waterborne diseases most of them are compelled to drink from the polluted Pratt River. Join News is William Benjamin Peters says access to potable water is the biggest challenge in the area. Atrabwanda is a farming community in the Shamar district of the western region. The community is close to the Pratt River, but access to potable water is a major challenge to the people in this area. The Pratt River over the years has been a source of comfort to residents as they draw water here for drinking, washing and bathing. But the heavy pollution in the river in recent times as a result of illegal small-scale mining has virtually taken what the people in this community cherish away. The Galamse activities are done upstream. The once clean water has now turned brown with oil visible on the surface of the river due to the chemical deposits from the Galamse operations. Residents seem to have little option. They continue to wash and bathe in the river while others drink from the river caring less about the consequences. If you are not that daring, then sachet water will be your sure bet. Or you may also consider walking miles to fetch water from boreholes. This borehole serves three communities with larger population than Atrabwanda, which has a population of about 500. They queue on daily basis to fetch water from the borehole, which is salty and breaks down frequently. Sometimes they simply run out of options. Another alternative is rainwater. Most of the households harvest rainwater whenever it pours. Some of the elders of the community, including Nicholas Mensa and Emmanuel Finn, are not happy people. Even though the water is highly polluted, we don't have any other alternative than to drink, a situation that triggers frequent stomach abscess. The Pra River used to be very safe for drinking, but now it is muddy and murky. They are demanding from government tap water.